Vlogmas day four. Christmas tree. snuggled up watching YouTube videos it's a beautiful sunny day it's cold I think outside but it's beautiful and sunny so we'll take it I'm just enjoying some time here and then I'm going to brunch with my friend Seb at 12 at this place called Hancock Street in the West Village it's supposed to be really really good this is, today is not a drinking brunch that was yesterday oh my god my body is hurting but it was really fun and it's always nice to do things with other people that went to Georgia and like get to know those girls better because they're just great human beings and we had so much fun. I'm probably not gonna really get too dressed up for brunch. I might just like slick back my hair and put on some glow screen, that kind of vibe. And then after that, our friend Maggie's doing a pop-up at Love Shack Fancy. So we're gonna go stop by there. She has jewelry, it's amazing jewelry. And I also want to go to a few other stores over there on Bleecker. And yeah, that's all I have planned. Other than that, I have a lot of work to get done. This coming Friday is the first Gals on the Go live show at Gramercy Theater in New York. We sold out both shows. It's insane. So if any of you guys are coming, I cannot wait to see you. Um, we're doing one this Friday and then one next Saturday. And they are both sold out. It's so freaking nuts. So it's not like a live podcast. Like it's... There are segments, we kind of wrote the segments. There, It would definitely be more candid, but like we have a plan. Um, so there's one last thing that um, Brooke and I both individually need to work on that we're not showing each other. So I just need to finish that up and tie it in a little bow because tomorrow we're doing a full show run through. Like Emma's coming over and my manager's coming over and Brooke and I are gonna like do it for them. Yeah, and maybe it'll be a laundry day. I like did a lot of cleaning yesterday, but we love a Sunday reset. So there'll probably be a little Sunday reset. I want to watch White Lotus tonight, even though that show makes me feel so weird. Like it really makes me feel so weird. But yeah, overall, big Sunday energy here. Honestly, maybe we'll go to Equinox and go to the steam room. Updates to come. Happy Sunday. Happy Vlogmas. Just showered and I just put on some Super Goop glow screen and some brow gel, and then I slicked back my hair as best I could. I actually really haven't done this since I cut my hair. It was a little bit harder, but we did it. I'm really vibing with my outfit right now. I know the creams like don't match, but hopefully that's okay. I'm gonna add another jacket as well, but I'm wearing my favorite Uniqlo um, Heat Tech Thermal Long Sleeve. This one is the turtleneck. I will link it below because these are so warm and so great for layering. I just put in some hoops. This vest, it's a puffer vest. I'm so obsessed, it's a little bit pricey, but it's from Revolve. I am obsessed with it because I feel like I can wear this in the spring too. I love the sleeves. I love how it cinches at the waist, like it's so cute. And then I'm just wearing Lululemon leggings and then these new shoes I got from NAKD. They're like Chelsea boots. And then I'm gonna throw, what even is the temperature? Okay, yeah, 43. I'm gonna throw over top this like camel colored coat from mango i got it last year if they still have it i'm going to link it below i also have it in like a dark navy color that kind of passes as black a whole layering moment and then i'll probably just do this to tie in the black leggings so it's not as random i love using my purse to tie in something else in the outfit <sighs> Whew, all right it doesn't feel good. I'm still so sore from the workout on Friday. Oh, I need sunglasses. Hold on. Okay, we have two options. These I haven't worn yet. They're Saint Laurent. They're crazy, but I'm obsessed. They're so high fashion. I don't know. Am I going to be like, it kind of makes sense with this fit. I feel like my friend Seb would appreciate these. They're, they're ginormous. I'm aware. Like, they're supposed to be crazy. Elsa Hosk has them, so I got them. <laughs> <laughs> or I have these, which you guys are all probably going to be like, wear those. These are Prada. One thing about me, I like designer bags and designer sunglasses. That's kind of like where I go, designer, if I come. It's decided. I'm going to do these sunnies. It's New York City. I could do whatever. So 
like you like this store is you like you are love shack this is all so beautiful i love all these ones Pretzel. headed back to my apartment now i did some nice shopping i'll show you guys what i got when i get back and had a nice brunch it's just such a beautiful day like it's cold but nice i didn't clean this morning or make my bed or anything so i like ran out of time so we're gonna go do a little sunday reset and i have so much work to get done just got back i wanted to show you guys what i got um so my friend maggie we met through kelly she has an amazing jewelry line this is her brand right here is her name she did a pop-up this weekend at love shack fancy on bleaker which was just so exciting this is a gift i got for someone at boyar gifts highly suggest going it's b-o-y-a-r gifts on bleaker i'm doing a secret santa with brooke margo margo and katie and i just like got one more thing for my secret santa so i'll show you guys the day of that but I got two jewelry pieces from Maggie's line that I'm obsessed with. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. This is stunning, this pink. So first I got these gorgeous hoop earrings. I just think they're super unique. I wear gold hoops every day. So I'm always looking for a little variation there. And then I got this because Maggie had it in her ears. She had it in her second and third piercing and I recently have my third piercing. It, it looks... It's hard to see like on the paper, so I'm gonna try it on later, but it would look like this from one piercing to the other But like obviously more of a U shape and I think it's gonna look so good I'm so excited about my pieces. So I wanted to show you guys when I got back Okay, so sitting in front of my computer now, I'm drinking a Waterloo cranberry flavor, very good. And I just took a notebook and I prioritized my what I wanna do. Cause every morning I wake up and I do my Doing Well Daily Day book. Also on that, stay tuned very, very, very soon. I will be announcing something very exciting. Um, I did a day book collaboration with Doing Well Daily and there might be something coming soon. I don't know why I keep doing this, um, but I just like to, I realized I like more space for notes and for to-do lists, um, so I kept that in mind. Anyways, so I'm just writing out literally my priorities. I do this sometimes when I just like, I don't know, when the to-do list isn't enough for me, I need to see like, do this first, then this second. Like it's so, I talk about this a lot, but when I sit down, I'm like, okay, everything will be right in the world if you get this done and then this like i just need to know my priorities so i just sat here and i thought about it i'm listening to tycho t-y-c-h-o love playing that um he's like a i don't even know it's like lo-fi it's not really lo-fi beats i don't even know he has really cool it's like cool music i don't know how to explain it um but listen to tycho if you need some good vibes like instrumental vibes while you're doing work um but yeah so i'm just gonna start on this list the first thing on my list is to prep for our podcast that we're recording tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing a gift guide episode on Gals on the Go, my podcast with my best friend Brooke Michio. Um, so I'm planning, we're each bringing like 10 to 15 things to the table. So there'll be like 30 things in our gift guide. And then I'm also planning like the intro for the podcast because we always do our wreck of the week, our current favorite. And then after that, I have to work on something for the live show. And then after that, I have three different like financial things I need to do. I have to pay my quarterly taxes. I have to do something else for taxes. I want to pay my credit card bill. I don't even know if it's due right now, but I just want it like done before I go holiday shopping. Honestly, before it Mac like before it like gets higher. I just don't want to see that. Um, and then I want to plan my meals for um, the week because I did that last week and I loved it. So that might include me going grocery shopping tonight, which would be nice. And then I want to get a rental car for New Year's Eve because we're going somewhere and I need to get a rental car for it. So that is that on that. Check in with you guys in a little. 
I'm still working, but it's slowly getting darker out. It's not even five o'clock. And I find if I'm like looking at my computer screen and it's dark around me, it like really hurts my eyes, even though I am wearing blue light glasses. So I'm gonna turn on my light now. Like, should I do my bright one? Honestly, eh, it's not that cozy feeling. Yellow, orange, I like the orange. It's cozy, like an, an amber look. I just had a couple pieces of mozzarella and sliced up an apple as a little snack. I'm just like not ready for dinner yet. Okay, I just finished planning my meals. <laughs> I feel like I do the same things, but I'm just like comfortable with them and I know I like them and I know how to make them But if you guys have any like easy meal suggestions that you like, please comment them down below like I typically like to do like a protein like a starch or carb and a veggie um, But I'm open to it all so if you guys have any easy ideas, please comment them down below I'm open to trying new things. I just like when it comes down to it I'm just like it. So here are the things that I planned for this week. I planned Monday through Thursday because Friday is the Gals and the Go Live show and we're getting like food catered to the theater. Monday, and like this changes sometimes. Like last week when I did this, uh, Monday I was totally in the mood for tacos, but I had like something else written down so I just switched it, like it's not that deep. Monday I have cauliflower pizza and broccoli. Tuesday, chicken with couscous and green beans. Wednesday, ground turkey tacos, because they were so good last week. And Thursday, rice, beans, and green beans, so. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just like so cold, like I don't even wanna go outside and go grocery shopping and it's already dark, which means I probably won't go to Equinox at this point. Ugh, but I really want to, I don't really know. I'm gonna put in an order for like Fresh Direct or something for groceries to be delivered tomorrow, because I have groceries to make dinner for tonight. I think I'm gonna do like chickpea pasta with turkey meatballs. And I think I have some frozen veggies. I don't, I prefer fresh veggies. So I just hate defrosting and I, I think the fresh veggies taste a little better personally, but we do what we can with what we have. So I am making my way down this to-do list, crossing off, planning meals. I only have one more thing on my list and then I'm done. And I'm so excited because at 9 p.m. White Lotus is premiering. I am just so obsessed. I cannot wait. So yeah. Just like that, I finished everything on my to-do list. And all it, and these are things I've been putting off for like the past week. And all it took was me sitting there and being like, okay, what needs to get done, in what order, how am I, and just like focusing. It's crazy. <laughs> it's time to wash my hair. So I thought I'd show you guys what products I'm using. I haven't tried this before, but I really wanna try it. It's the L'Oreal Metal Detox Shampoo. So I think I'm gonna start with this as like a clarifying shampoo. And then, Every few washes, I try to use this Redken Blondage High Bright Shampoo and Conditioner. It's what my hairstylist um, recommended that I use for my bright blonde hair again. Um, ooh, but I do love this Amika stuff. And this stuff makes your hair so soft. Maybe I should use this. You get your, I don't really feel like doing this right now. You like get your hair wet, put it in, then leave it in, and then rinse it again. I'm just like not in the mood to do that. <laughs> so just kidding. We're gonna do one, two, and three. That's what I'm using in the shower. And then loving this Malin and Getz Rome Body Wash. This European Wax Center Slow Body Polish. Good to exfoliate. And I'm almost out of my L'Occitane shower oil. I love this stuff so much. It smells so good. And face wash, I'm almost out of this as well. The CeraVe Hydration Cream and Foam Cleanser is what I've been using. I also have been loving both of these um, makeup cleansing balms, but I don't have makeup on right now. All right, just switched the laundry. Got the darks going. The lights just finished in the dryer, so I'll probably fold during White Lotus. I like to reward myself for doing my laundry by watching a good show, so I like to fold and watch. The best feeling, shower, robe, all the things. It's time to make some dinner. Okay, I thought I had chickpea pasta, but I don't. I'm not mad about it, though. We're gonna make some fusilli, and then I've got some sauce, some marinara sauce. Let's see what's in my freezer. All right, we'll take it. We've got some green beans. And then some turkey meatballs. We're feasting tonight. I'm really excited about it. I haven't made turkey meatballs in a very long time. And they're so good and I miss them. So I'm just in my turkey era. <laughs> Let's get it going. <laughs> Oh, 
This is like my ideal dinner right here. Bon appetit. Just cleaned the whole kitchen. Gonna run the dishwasher here in a second. I realize I haven't drank a lot of water today. Ideally, I'll drink like two of these a day. I mean, more, but if I'm being realistic with myself. Mm. Oh, so good. Does anyone else have like a water filter pitcher thing? And the one I have, which I like better, it filters it before it goes in rather than filters as you pour because I find it's like such a slow pour. Random things. I'd rather it be filtered already than it fast pour. Anyways, what I've been doing is I've just been sitting here and slowly filling it up and then like waiting for it to like filter down and then I can fill the reservoir with more water so I can finally fill the pitcher. So I've just been sitting here waiting for it to go. Gonna have another emergency. I was sick last month and I just don't want to be sick again. We have the live show coming up and I'm just like, I'm stressed that I'm gonna get sick. I don't know why, but I don't have like a super busy week ahead and I'm really just trying to focus on Vlogmas and the live show and eating good foods and just doing good for my body in general and taking breaks in between each thing. Sorry, this is slanted by the way. You guys are on my paper towel holder. Okay, well I guess I do need this a little bit. Um. So yeah, but we're gonna be healthy. We're gonna be healthy, 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 happy, happy, happy. I'm just trying to drink one of these a day. An hour and 20 minutes till White Lotus. New episode is out. These things, I get so excited. Like why 9 p.m.? Why are you doing this to us, HBO Max? Cheers. So excited, the brunch place I went to today actually had matchboxes. A lot of restaurants don't have them anymore or I literally will forget. Um, so we're adding it to the vase. I can't wait to just see this thing fill up. I also have not forgotten about my shelves. I really want to decorate them and make it really fun, but I'm kind of saving it for a January project because last this past January, I feel like I just had a lot of time I got sad because I was like, I'm not as busy as I was in December because December is just crazy for everybody. And so I, and I also don't want to like stress about my shelves. I want to enjoy the process. I want to work with Abby at Abode to kind of build out um, some, not build, no building here, but she has some fun little trinkets and I want to add like greenery, stuff like that. So I think that'll be a fun project in January to kind of do and decorate the shelves. Also a little update here. I don't even know if I showed you guys on the vlog. I must have. I got this beautiful bench off of Etsy and ignore that. Um, and then this little faux sheepskin situation with these two pillows. And then I got a round mirror to hang above um, just so it's like nice and warm and welcoming when people walk through this long hallway. And then this, I actually, we moved out of the Gals in the Go studio last week. Ah! And I told Brooke I could take these to my apartment. I don't know if I really like them here. I thought I would. They might look good in my bedroom, honestly. Not really sure yet, but that's they're here for now. This is stuff for the Gals in the Go live show I'm like compiling to bring to the theater the day of. So slowly clearing out the hallway. 15 minutes till White Lotus. It's fun to have something to look forward to. Also, look how crazy my hair has dried like hello i was waiting for it to air dry so i could like use my air up and blow it out straighter so that when i go to bed it hopefully won't get too crazy i feel like my hair right now looks like i forgot her name the girl in white lotus um the assistant to jennifer coolidge's character I feel like this is what hurt, like this is the vibe. It's 8.58, about to watch White Lotus. I'm actually gonna make myself, how many beverages can I make in this vlog? Oh my God, <laughs> my Brita's still here, I forgot. See, I just like forget about it. I'll do one more little thing and then it should be, oof. Yeah, it's pretty much done and ready to go in the fridge. I'm gonna make some hot tea. 
and just wind down. I have a busy week ahead, but after today, I actually feel really well prepared for it. Um, and I like kind of looked at the week ahead, and I, I don't know, I just like feel good, and I kind of set myself up for success, which is always really nice. Um, so I'm just heating up some water, gonna make some sleepy time tea, sip that, and watch White Lotus. I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 4, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!